our class met Stumpy and Miss Renee today and um, they heard a little bit about Stumpy's story. Um, he lost a leg back in November and through the process from November to January they were working with Stumpy to give him a prosthetic leg. He's a Welsh Harlequin. He was in an unfortunate weasel attack and he now has a prosthetic leg that we um, have designed for him to help him adapt to life um, more normally. It's a lot of trial and error. We started with the basic triangle and then from there we went from the, with the webbing and then from there we had to go with the top to actually fit onto the stump. They learned a lot of different lessons in this and then they were able to apply them in a project. They designed some of their very own feet or shoes to walk across the room and they had to uphold the integrity of the design, make sure it could go a certain distance um, and that it didn't break and they were able to move pretty much as normal as possible. Dream it, work it, do it. It sounds very cliche. I believe it happens with a lot of children. They get excited with these crazy ideas which aren't crazy to adults because we've lived our lives. We kind of have to step back a little bit and we have to take that young energy and actually sit and get our own ideas out of our head and sit and think with them and say, hey, yeah, this is actually possible. We can do this, but we have to find a way. Our kids need to hear these stories, one, because many of them are experiencing them themselves. Um, they're overcoming obstacles, they're overcoming challenges, they're overcoming disabilities. Um, they're learning how to work with those disabilities and learn that sometimes it's not something that you have to accept. It's a problem that you can get around by using some creativity, using some things that might not come to the natural thinking at first, but when you sit down and you problem solve that you can find a way to make this work. Um, and all of a sudden these kids start to realize that, hey, these are some strengths of mine and you know, look at what I can do and look at what I can overcome. And then they start to apply it to their world around them and their lives every day.